hello viewers what's up you see this is our software and whenever i click in a row the values are shown here and we can change the row by using up and down keyboard key actually up and down arrow arrow key up arrow and down arrow so we need to create two methods one method for mouse click and another method for keyboard key release so let's open your netbeans and before creating the methods i am going to correct some mistakes here right click wait and go to change variable name and you see it is only wait but i wanted to make it like this one so copy it control c and then paste it here and now i will change it to wait and then for blood go to change variable name and you see now this is good uh, okay and now then you see this is our table and then right click it and go to events and then at first i am going to create the events for mouse so go to mouse option and then mouse click whenever we will click a row then what will happen it will be defined by this method so click it and you see this is our method so what to do at first we need to identify the row in which the table is clicked so for identifying the row we need to declare an integer type variable um, naming it to integer row then the name of our table is control copy okay go to source control v dot get selected row so the row number is found from the command and it is an integer type output of the command let's have a look at our table structure so go to sqlite manager and then you see this is our table and this is the structure and you see the column student id is type of variable character so whenever we will try to access the student id we need a variable character that means string type variable but here integer row is type of integer so we need to find out the string type of this selected row so for doing this write this command string and i am change i am giving the variable name table click and then we need to write the table name table student short info dot get model dot get value at integer row 0 and dot to string now i will write the query A string sql is equal select all from student info student info yes i'm right from student info where student id student id where student id is equal
student id will be the value of table click so we need to add this by using quotation this is a command and then yes double quotation double plus and then table click now we need to prepare our statement and then we need to execute our query result set dot result set is equal list dot execute query what's wrong with this we need a try cache block so this is our try cache block and for the cache option I am just going to show a message like this one control copy control D so what's happening by using the commands let's have a look it again at first we are going to identify the selected row and it is type of integer but we need to make it a string type so i am going to create another variable and this variable will get the value of selected row and then it type will be string and then i am going to write a query select sorry it will be star. select all from student info where student id is equal table click that means we need to specify that which row we have clicked like if we click this row then we will get the value of student id 123056 into this variable and then the variable will be set here and the our query will search for the entry of the row in the database and select all all entries of student id this and then you need to prepare the statement and the result set so what if what if the result set is true that means result set dot next then what will we do if result set, result set is true then we will set the corresponding database values of student id like 104044 student id is height weight department first name last name gender blood into the text fields and the combo box so we can do it